welcome to this next video which is video number six um, this video is going to be called a HIIT workout um, HIIT stands for high intensity interval training um, but as much as that sounds hard you still work at your kind of your own level I give adaptions for all the exercises so if you're a beginner to an advanced you can all do this um, at your own own level right then um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do 40 seconds of hard work and then we're going to do 20, you get 20 seconds rest. So when you do each exercise, you're going to work as hard as you can for you for 40 seconds. And then you're going to have 20 seconds rest before we move on to a, a different exercise. Right, so it's going to work the heart rate. Um, it's more of a cardiovascular workout than a strength workout. So we're going to get warmed up and then I can explain more as we go through. Right, so we're going to start with just a little march on the spot. And we're going to swing the arms. So in total today we're going to do um, eight exercises and then at the very end after we've done those eight exercises twice there's going to be a little little thing added on at the very end. Right so we're going to start now just tapping out in front so feet hands on your hips tap onto out onto your toes Okay, and now you're going to tap behind. Tap your feet behind. And then to the sides. Remember, if you have balance problems, just holding onto a chair or a wall. Back to the front. And we'll come up onto your heel now. So put your heel, put your toe up, plant your heel down onto the floor. And tap back. Now for the sides. And we're going to add in the arms now. Just bring the arms out to the sides. Right, just march in. We're going to bring the arms to the front, down, and then to the sides. To the front again, and to the sides. Keep marching the feet. Right, we're going to do some circles with the arms now, just warming up the shoulders. Just do three or four backwards. And now changing the other direction. Forwards now. Right, but open up the chest. Keep the feet marching. And now we're going to open the arms up. As we pull back, open the arms back. Straight arms back. Okay, marching again. Just a little bit faster now, bringing the knees a little bit higher. See if you feel the heart rate coming up a little bit more now. Right, we're going to do higher knees now. We're going to bring the opposite hand to opposite leg. Bring the knee up a little bit higher. If you find this difficult for support, hold on to a kitchen worktop or the wall. Right, we're going to change to some kickbacks now, so flicking the heels up behind. Arms as well. Bicep curls with the arms. Right, to stop it and punch in. Really important that we do do this warm up. Getting the movement patterns ready for when you go a little bit harder, a little bit faster. Stretching across. Right, marching again. Right, we're going to step backwards again. Step back. But as we step back now, we're going to add both arms out forwards. So leg back, one leg at a time. Two arms coming forward. Right, just march in. We're going to bring the arm across your body, shoulder stretch. Hold in on the outside part of your arm, ease in. Change arms. Right, hands behind your back now. Pull your hands away from your lower back. 
little stretch across your chest. Just a few stretches just to get us, get the body nice and warm. Activate those muscles. Right, we're going to do some half stars again. We can go a little bit faster and do star jumps. Right, we're just going to do some squats just to warm up the legs a little bit. So you can do this with the chair, if you've got a chair there, up and down, or if not, without the chair, make sure your feet are the hip distance or slightly wider apart, keep your back straight. Okay, you don't have to go down too deep, just little squats, just to warm us up. Little shallow ones. Okay, marching again. Swing those arms. And we're just going to go into a little jog. Again, if this is too much for you, just go back to tapping out in front. Or just march in. If you're having problems with your knees, you don't, you don't want to be jumping around. Just do it at your pace. Right, we're just going to step side to side. Come out the outside part of the thigh. Right, we're just going to do a calf stretch. And then we're going to get started with the exercise. So take a step forward, a bit of stretch on the back of your lower leg. Hopefully your heart rate is up now, ready for the exercise. Change legs. Hold, just make sure that back foot is facing forward, back heel facing down. Is it back heel, sorry, down onto the ground. Right, just to finish off, we we'll just do a few more burpees. All right, so before we weren't doing the jumping up, but now we're going to add the jump or a stretch. That's it, nice big stretch up. One more. Right then, so hopefully you're nice and warm. For this workout today, um, you don't really need any equipment, so you can add in the weights if you'd like to, make it a little bit harder, but you don't need them. You don't need them really. Um, a drink, have a drink there, and a chair if you need the chair for the squats. Right, so we're going to do eight exercises in total. I'm going to go through them, what they are as we go through. We're going to do 40 seconds hard work, and then we're going to have about 20 seconds to rest. The first one today um so it's going to be mountain climbers all right so we did this i don't know video two three so what you can do the starting version will be on the wall and you're stepping back or you can bring the knee in so step right back and then bring the knee in you can do it on a windowsill or a worktop all right you can use a lower incline Stepping in and out, or the harder version would be on the floor, arms straight. You can do it slower, bring the knee in. Okay, but we keep the arms nice and straight. Right, so we're going to get straight onto that one, get into a position that's ready for you. 40 seconds all together. Off you go. So we're doing mountain climbers. And we're getting that heart rate up that you try and work hard for the 40 because then you're going to have 20 seconds rest. Bringing those knees in. You are on the floor, keep your arms nice and straight underneath your shoulders. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders. Right, 10 seconds, last push. See you there, 5 seconds. Don't forget a rest after this. Okay. Right, have a rest, so your heart rate should be elevated now. Have a breather. Right, the next one is going to be side jumps or side steps. So you're going to step to the side, or you're going to jump, 
or you can do a little. All right, so off you go. So you've had your 20 seconds rest, side to side. So pretend there's something in the middle and you've got to step over it or jump over it. If you jump in, use your arms. Side to side. All right. Or you can bring the knees up a bit higher. Pretty good for the outer thigh. Also, getting that heart rate up. 10 seconds to go. A little bit faster. Right, rest. Whew, 20 seconds. Well done, everyone. Right, next one will be knee raises. So opposite hand to opposite leg. If you need balance, do it, hold on to the wall. Right, opposite hand to opposite leg. Or come up to the elbow. Or add a hop. It is hard, it's harder this one, you will feel your heart rate coming up. Lots of exercises that raise the heart rate, not a lot of strength today. But it is going to be a short workout. You don't have to do it for very long. Lots of benefits. Keep it going as fast as you can, five seconds. Right, that's number three. Next one will be spotty dogs. So have a little rest, shake, shake your legs off. So spotty dog is one leg back, opposite arm forward, and then we change. All right, if you want to make it harder, we jump. All right, spotty dogs, off you go. Keep with me. If you're finding that you're really tired, just do the legs or just do the arms. Just so you keep moving, recover a little bit for the next one. You can keep coming with me as well, stretching those arms up. Right, you've got five seconds to go. A little bit quicker. Well done. Right, 20 seconds rest. That's four. You've got four more to go. Next one is squats. So you've got your chair, or freestanding, nice deep squats if you can. Make sure your knees aren't going forwards, sitting back into it, make sure you're on your heels, arms out, up and down. Make sure you're breathing out, so you don't hold your breath. And cross your arms across your body as well. Make sure you're looking forward, don't look down. Keep your back nice and straight. So we're not looking to go like this forward, we're keeping the back straight. Five seconds, few more squats. One more. Brilliant. Right, check that off. A bit more of a strength one, that one, for the legs. Next one. Definitely raise heart rate. It's your burpees. So burpee, stepping back. Third movement is a stretch up. Or you can do the floor ones. In between, step back. Right, off you go. Whichever version for you that's gonna raise your heart rate. Nice stretch up in between. It's harder this one, but like I said, it's going to be a shorter overall workout. Make sure you change the leading leg now and again. If you're not always working the same side first. 10 seconds. Might get one more in. Whew. Right, that's burpees done. Next one is half stars or star jumps Whew. it's a hard one this one doing well everyone 
Right, half stars or star jumps. If you are finding this challenging, this workout, just do the legs now, or just do the arms. You can push yourself if you can keep going. Do your full stars or your half stars. We've only got one more after this, and then we'll have a little rest. A longer rest. Right, fast as you can. Five seconds. Whew. Right. The last one of the eight is going to be standing slightly side on, one foot in front of the other, and we're going to punch and we're going to stretch. So we're working down the sides of your body here, but also you're working your arms and we're getting our heart rate up. All right, get in your position, get in your stance. We'll do 20 seconds with one leg forward and then we'll change over. Right, change the leading leg, change position. So stretch those arms, not just little punches, extend. Five seconds. Well done. Right, you've done eight. Have a drink. Have a little rest, a little bit longer rest. And then we're going to go through them all again. Like I said, it is a little bit harder, but we're only going to go through them all once more. And then that's that little little thing at the very end, and then you're done. Nice little quick workout to come, come back to if you just want a, a shorter one. Right, just shake those legs. Do excuse the my hair. It's getting the fringe is getting very long. You may see me in a hat next time. <laughs> right. Okay, right, 40, we're going to do the same times again, 40 seconds on the exercise, um, and then we're still going to do the 20 seconds rest, we're going to go through them all again. So the first one was the mountain climbers, which was stepping, bring the knees forward, stepping backwards, either on an incline or on against the wall. Right, in your position, 40 seconds, off you go. Remember, if you're not sure on the wall, stepping back. Where we start, sorry, start with your feet back and then bring the knees in. It's a really good one for the core as well as raising the heart rate. Keep going, 20 seconds to go. You can do it faster, you can do it nice and controlled, nice and slow. Just keep moving. It's hard, no stopping. Five seconds, three, two, one. Oh, mountain climb is done, that's your rest. The next one will be the side steps or the jumps. Use your arms if, you, if you're jumping or you want a little bit of a in-between. But if you do have any problems with your knees, hips, you don't want to be jumping, just do the step in. Right, off we go. Enjoying this, everyone. If you can, increase it. Ten seconds, a little bit more pace. Well done. Right, next one will be the knee raises so to the hand or to the elbow, or you can do high knees, which is hard, very hard. Whichever option. Right, knee raises. 
you are struggling your balance you can do this sitting down as well Make it harder, come up to that elbow. Keep with me, keep moving. You feel good when it's all finished. Achievement, you've done it. Five seconds. Right, that's knee raises done. The next one will be your spotty dogs. Just to remind you, that's a spotty dog. All right, just rest for a second. Not used to having rest in between. But you need it. Recover. Right, off you go. Spotty dogs. Stretch those arms. If you feel like you've got a little bit more in you, jump. Alright, keep it going. You're over halfway on this one. Ten seconds to go. This lets us four done. Four to go. Right, rest. You rest. I'll show you the next one is squats. Or you can do it without the chair. Right, just rest in. Five seconds to go. Right, okay, working hard. 40 seconds. Nice deep squats. Looking forward. Right, you're halfway on the squats. Keep going. Feel those legs. Squeeze up. Squeeze your glutes as you come up. Five seconds. Couple more. One more. Well done. Squats done. Have a rest. 20 seconds. Next one is burpees. Whew. Burpees. We all know what a burpee is. Dive on the floor or standing up. Off we go. Stretch up in between if you can. If you've got lamp shade, just stand up. It's a good, good opportunity to try the floor ones at your home. Hands down, step back, step back, in, in, stand up. It does make your face go red, but it's a good exercise. All right. If you feel like you just do one and then you can do one standing up one and then do one floor one. One more. Well done if you kept with me then. Right, two more to go. Nearly at the end, nearly there. So next one, resting for a second, is half stars or your star jumps. Right, shaking off. You will feel your heart pumping away. It's good, making it stronger. Right, half stars, star jumps. 40 seconds. Do the stepping ones. Don't want any problems with your knees, don't want to be jumping. Right, so we're just doing it on the last bit now. Increasing the speed or jumping. Out and in. Keep with me. It's hard. We're stopping. Brilliant. Right, we've only got one more to go. And just that little extra thing at the end. And then we're done. Right. So we're going to do punches. One foot in front of the other. Just rest for a second. Let that heart rate come down a little bit. Right. So one foot in front of the other. And we're going to punch. Extend. 
Right, those arms. 20 seconds with this foot forward and then we'll change. Extend those arms. Right, change in feet, change the other side, punching out. Working hard. We're feeling hot now. Heart rate right up. This is for high intensity training. Three, two, one. Brilliant. So you've done eight exercises, you've done, gone through them twice, you've done them at high intensity. We're going to finish off with a plank just for one minute, just to finish off. Um, so, a minute timer. Right, so you can either do this on the wall, feet back, arms straight, hold. You can do it on an incline to make it harder. Or you can do it on the floor. Good opportunity to try and get down the floor. You've got a chair here for support when you need to get up. And push up from the chair, come on your knees, up, push up. If you're down on the floor, we're gonna go onto the elbows. Make sure the elbows are resting underneath your shoulders. When we do the plank, we hold all the muscles nice and straight. You want to make sure your, your back is nice and flat. Hard, I know, to see if you're doing it right. Um, but if you've got someone else there that can just let you know, make sure your back. If you're finding it too difficult, it's hurting your back, just lower it down onto your knees. Right, so we're going to do it for a minute in a position that's suitable for you. One minute on the timer. This is your, you're only going to do it once. One last exercise. Right, one minute. Off you go. So you can keep going the whole minute. Keep breathing. Make sure those elbows are underneath your shoulders. You're tightening every single muscle. Push your heels away from you so you tighten up the back of your legs. What are we on? We're over halfway. Yes, it hurts, but keep going. Keep pushing. No drop in. Whew. Right, you need that. 10 seconds to go. Five seconds. Well done. Right, if you're on the floor, get getting up nice and slowly now. Use the chair if you need to. Up on one knee. That work. Bring one foot onto one foot, and then pushing up. Have a drink of water. Have a drink break. Well done. If you stayed with me, you've done that whole workout. It is a little bit shorter, but a really good one. You are feeling hot now, heart rate's up, keep your feet moving just a little bit. Well done, right, we're going to do a cool down now, because it is important to get that heart rate back down, and not just sit on the sofa. Right then, so we're just going to march, and as we're doing that, we are going to bring the arm across your body. And we're going to do a shoulder stretch. So we can just do some stretching, but also gradually bring that heart rate back down to a lower intensity. Change arms. Just tap the feet out. Right, bring your hands behind your back. Pull your hands away from your lower back. Feel the stretch across your chest. Right hand up onto your shoulder. Upper hand comes up near the elbow. Ease that arm up. You may not be able to go too high, but just ease up as high as for you. Or you may be able to bring your hand right up above your head. Okay, 
lower that down, change arms, ease it up, just want to lengthen these muscles up, lengthen them again before we uh, rest. Right then, and then we're just going to roll the shoulders and we're going to stop with the feet and we're going to bring the arms out, stretch the arms. Right, we're going to widen our stance and we're going to do a little squat and we're going to bring the arms up, extend, we're going to squat back down, bring the arms down, stretch up. Down again. It is important you do this cool down. I know you're tired, but stretch off those muscles. Give your legs a shake. Right, we're just going to do some stretches for the legs. So we're going to take a step forward. You can use a back of a chair or a wall to push into. And hold, feel the stretch on the back of the lower leg. Change sides. And when you're doing the cool down, you always want to hold the stretches for at least kind of 15 seconds. It's always a little bit longer in the cool down and warm up. Right, now we're going to stretch the hamstring muscle, the muscle in the back of your thigh, front leg straight, feet not too far apart, sit back into the stretch. You can do it sitting down. If you have problems with your balance, lean forwards, bring the toe up, change sides, I hope you're all feeling good, set you up for the rest of the day now, brilliant for mind and body, exercise is excellent, we love it, right give legs a shake again, Right, we're going to hold on to the wall, we're going to stretch the front of your thigh, bring the leg up behind, knees close together. And change sides. If you're struggling to get your foot up there, use the chair. And then you may be able to lean back behind there. If not, get a towel, wrap the towel around your foot, and then you pull up from there. So always, if you struggle with that, have the band there, ready. We're in the workout so at the cool down you can use it so you can still stretch off big muscle group here it's important that we try and stretch it off right so you're in the thighs so we're going to do a wide stance and we're going to lean over to the side make sure your foot's turned out lean to the side nice stretch with the inner thigh over to the other side Done. Right, last shake. You've done it, everyone. Give yourself a clap. Brilliant workout. That's workout number six. Hope you're keeping up with them. If you're not, then you've done number six today. You've done a workout, whichever order you've done them in. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you're all staying safe. Um, keep up the good work, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye for now.